Hey YouTubers, making a new video here. Um, this right here is my new uh, disc brake uh, rotor. Um, like I said before, if I can build it myself, I will. Um, I can't see spending 25, 35 bucks on something I can build myself. Um, this here is uh, basically a piece, piece of, uh, well it came out of that flat piece of steel there. I got that whole square piece, I think it's 12 by 12. Uh, eighth inch, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, from I got it from over here. We have blue collar supply, and I think I got that whole piece for like two bucks. Um, I picked up some of these collars, three quarter inch collar shaft collars. For, I think it was five, two for five bucks or something like that. I don't remember from Tractor Supply, and uh, just um, found a round, you know, something round that I traced out. And cut this out, ground it out, and then tack weld this on here. Now, if you see it, it's pretty, pretty straight. Doesn't have any wobbles into it this way. Um, it's almost perfectly round. Not quite, but pretty close. Um, anyways, anybody can do this. What I found the best way to do it is I have a piece of decorant shaft. I put a piece of collar. I put a collar on it on okay then I put another collar on here and sandwich it together tighten the set screws down and do tack welds you know and just do one here and then go to the opposite side one there go to the opposite side one there and one there and let it cool don't run a bead all the way around you will warp the hell out of this whole thing if you try that and if you do that and I know because that's what happened when I built these years ago um, I would just really warp the hell out of them and so um, yeah so as you can see it's well anyways it's it's straight it's not warped or anything like that so and if you look on you know whatever eBay or go power sports any place you go uh, to get these um, to buy a disc brake uh, rotor uh, they're about 35 25 35 bucks and um, not that I don't have the money, I do, I just, you know, if I can build it, I will. And that's what makes this stuff fun, because I'd rather build it. So, let me go over here, show you what I got going on now. I've done quite a bit of work to the bike, uh, just like controls, like I got a throttle, that's my brake handle. Let me get over there. Got the throttle hook up here. new piece to put on that I made that just so I can make it work I took a nut and bolt and put a hole in it it'll work but I got a actually went to the hardware store and actually got the right piece for that so just made my own stuff here um, to make all this work um, I'm gonna make a new bracket for here that actually runs across here looks a lot nicer but this was just to throw something together to get it to work I found all this stuff on eBay, real cheap. I think, I think this was like, like 10, uh, no, not even 10 bucks, like 5.99 for this. And I wanted this old school kind of handle that was on like, when I was a kid, you know, um, my sister was quite a bit older than me. Her friends, you know, uh, they had the mini bikes from the late 70s and they had these type of grips on there, you know, so just kind of was, you know, reminiscent of that. Like the old taco um, mini bikes and uh, front the other brand. So that was cool. So, anyways, so I have my jack shaft here. I have this coming out here, a three quarter inch shaft. This goes on here, just flush with the end there. And then I have my rotor. Not my rotor. This is my rotor. This is my disc brake caliper. Oop. Let me line it up. bracket welded in I got to get the other one welded so it's set but uh, that's pretty much what we got that'll work I got my cable run already that'll go up to there to there that'll go into 
this little piece here, I have to shorten the cable. It goes into here. The black sheathing goes into here, stops here. And the cable goes through that hole up to this here, which has got a, a hole in the nut. And then, of course, that is what makes the caliper work. And then that's run up to the handle right here. So, getting all the mechanisms done. Um, got to build a custom. I got some uh, some material to make some sleeves here. I have the air cleaner on here. I'm gonna go with something different, like one of those comb style. But I'm gonna make everything here. I just gotta get the parts together to do that. And uh, I need to buy myself some exhaust tubing so I can start building the adapter plates for this, for my for my air cleaner, and then also for my exhaust. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with my exhaust. I've got the flapper. Uh, the exhaust flapper, which I really want to run. I think that'd be cool. Um, I think I'm just going to run this out here. Um, down the other... No, I think maybe down this side. And then up here. We run it down here. Past the rotor. Here. And then just have it come up like that with a flapper. That might be cool. I'm not sure. I'll see when it comes out to be. But I'm going to leave this on here. That's just, I, I don't want this thing really loud. So, but we'll see. And I got these clips. These are awesome. These, I found these clips when I was buying all this other stuff. So I didn't have to use zip ties or just clips. They use them on mini bikes. They're great. They hold everything in. It's all nice and neat and tight against the frame. I like it. So, anyways. So, that's where I'm at. Yeah, get a lot closer to just getting everything fitted and uh, getting ready to tear it apart and finish doing all the final welds on it. So, all right, just a little update. I'll get back to you after I have everything hooked up. All right, have a good day, tubers.